guys, my name's Tori. For those of you who don't know me, this is my Wizard of Oz collection vlog. This is a little bit different from what I usually do, but I went ahead and bought a duplicate of the number seven beauty products Wizard of Oz makeup kit. They are now 30% off after the holidays, so I opened this one up and I'm gonna try some of this new makeup. So it's like a get ready with me. Roll that intro. <laughs> never used these products before. I also ordered the highlighting palette, but it came shattered, so that didn't work out. I'm excited to try some of this stuff. I've put on my like basic, my foundation, and my cover-up, and my um, mascara. My eyelashes are a pain in the butt. Like They go straight down because they're so long, so I have to like curl them. They're a pain in the patoot. Thanks so much, genetics. Thanks, Dad. So the first thing I'm gonna try is the eyeshadow palette. Here we go. Eyeshadow palette. It comes in a nice yellow brick road case. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, it has some nice, has some nice colors. This is with the larger kit. They also made a separate eyeshadow palette that you can buy on its own. But I went ahead and bought a duplicate of this larger kit and then I bought the highlighting palette, but again, it came broken, so it doesn't really help me. Also, they have like a one large highlighting palette. Now I'm not sure if this is face highlighter or if it's eye highlighter. So I'm gonna use this, I think, as like my eyeshadow base, and then we'll go from there. They also give you a nifty brush. I have a set of brushes, but this is an emerald brush, so this might be cool to try. So it's been kind of a crazy few weeks for me. I've been filming OzTalk with the OzTalk team. That's been super fun. We've been talking about some great changes coming up with the Oz Club. I think it's gonna be a really interesting time for the club and I think that if you're not already a member, now might be a good time to hop in there. Right now I know that one of the only paid perks you get is the Bomb Bugle, but I really love the Bugle and I think it's definitely is a worthwhile expense, but if you're less into the educational stuff to do with Oz, then there's some really fun and exciting things coming up for the club, so you should definitely check it out. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. What do you guys think? It's a little shimmery for like a daily wear, but I think that's super pretty. Let's see. This side. Okay. Not bad. The coverage is not great, like you need a lot of it. Wow, that is very shimmery. We're gonna have to take that down a little bit. That is definitely an evening look. <laughs> I'm not going to a club, but I am filming an episode of Oz Talk today, so your eyes do need to pop a little bit. It's kind of like a yellow brick road type shade. I'm definitely gonna need a blending brush. This is not gonna do the business that I need it to do. Not a ton of fallout, which is good but very shimmery. I wish they had something a little less, a little more matte to take this down a notch with, but we will improvise. So how are you guys doing? My January's been interesting. If you follow my personal page at all, you know I'm a pretty political person, so watching everything that's gone down at the Capitol and stuff has been kind of shocking. I'm 32 years old and I don't recall a time that things have ever been quite so tumultuous. But, uh, we'll get through it. I watched the inauguration with my daughter and she was very excited to see Kamala Harris especially get sworn in. That was a fun, exciting moment for all of us. Okay, so I think I might try to just tone this down a little bit with some of my Kat Von D uh, shade and light eye palette. Now. Full disclosure, Kat Von D as a human being is a total garbage person, and I totally and 100% acknowledge that. She is no longer involved in the financial end 
of her makeup line. So I feel okay using her products at this point. I wouldn't say I feel great about the fact that her name is still on everything, but I feel a little more comfortable using her products now that I know for sure she's not profiting from it, which is really where I draw the line. As consumers, we have a lot of power over who has a voice and who doesn't. And if you disagree with someone and have the option to not fund their life, that is a really powerful way to get your message across. So, you may not feel like you have a lot of power, but trust me, you do. To quote Glinda, you have always had the power. Corny, I know. Toned that down a bit. I'm gonna grab my blending brush. Let's see how this stuff blends. Huh. Pretty well. And yeah, I make stupid faces while I do my makeup. Don't judge me. If this looks really stupid, this video may never see the light of day, so that would be fine. All right, so that's blended down now a bit. So let's get some crease action going on here. Now there is kind of like a mattish, brownish color. I typically use something a little bit lighter in my crease, but let's give it a try. I'm wondering if I should do this red shade here and kind of bring it in. I don't know, what do you guys think? You can't tell me. Okay, or this shade might be a nice Okay, I'm gonna try this in the corner and I'm gonna whip it through the crease and see how that works out. Cause I don't wanna go too dark on my lid today. Oh, well, that looks pretty. That's nice, that's subtle. I like subtle during the day. Don't like to go too dramatic. It's like, where are you going, mom? To the kitchen. Okay. In case you can't tell, I'm not very good with these makeup videos. I've never done this before. I feel strange talking to a camera while I get ready. That actually, that looks pretty subtle and nice. Mama likes a little bit of something gentle on the lids. Bring that a little bit more into the corner and up here. This has a lot of fallout. So make sure you blow on your brush before you use it. I'm gonna take my blender again and just run this, run this through this way. Make sure that's nice and even. Now I think I'm gonna use this darker brown color underneath my lid as kind of a liner. It's got a little bit of a red tint to it. I know some of you watching are much better at doing makeup than I am, so if you would like to comment and give me some assistance, please do. Because this situation is not getting better with time. <laughs> See, there comes, a, there comes a point where you look in your mirror and you go, that's as good as it's gonna get <laughs> today. Blend that through. I don't know, I'm making this stupid makeup face. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard partners and people say like, why are you doing that face? You really can't help it. When you're trying to get underneath your eye there, you have to stretch out your face. Especially when your face is as old and wrinkly as my face. I'm blessed with good genetics. So hopefully that will sustain my stupid face for a little bit longer. Okay, so. I think that's looking like a pretty good daytime look. I don't want to go too crazy, because like I said, we're filming today, so I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of this shimmery shade and see if I can give myself a little highlight here. Use my emerald brush here. Ooh, that is very nice. It's a little bit more sparkly than I would probably wear daily. But since I'm filming today, that might actually be helpful. This one is a little more opaque. It's definitely more of a highlighting shade, not something you would... Wow, that is very shimmery though. Holy jump. 
definitely more shimmery than I would ordinarily wear. I usually typically wear like a, a more matted look, but you know what? Today's a day of adventure to try new things. I like trying new things once in a while. Okay, so this is what I'm working with so far. It blends really well, I'll give it that. Blends super, super well. And like I said, I'm going for definitely a more muted, a more casual daytime look. If I were going for something more dramatic, I might use that darker red shade in the corners here to really like make it pop. I might take that first highlighting shade into the corner here. All right, so that is what we got working so far on the eyes. I was just trying out the eyeliner pencil. I think it actually, it works pretty nicely. I tend to use a gel liner when I'm doing my top line, but this actually works really well. This is a gel pencil. It goes on really easily. You don't have to put a lot of pressure to get color pigmentation going on, but this looks pretty nice. I'm gonna do I don't want to do too much of a wing with a pencil because you're not going to get the accuracy you need. Pretty nice. Put some mascara on my lower lash. That's one disappointing thing about this particular box set. Did not come with mascara, which was surprising and a little disappointing. Yeah, so it's been a crazy month. COVID's out of control. Hopefully things will start getting better soon. My, my sister and my mom and I talk on the phone every day and we like plan this fantasy vacation. We've been, we go to Disney usually once every couple of years and uh, obviously flying right now is not the safest option. We're on the East Coast up North. As so we were talking about how we could all get down there. I haven't seen my grandmother now in over a year and a half. She's in Port St. Lucie, which is not far from Orlando, so we usually visit her and go to Disney in the same trip. But obviously for driving, that takes a lot more time, and I can only go get so much time off of work. And now Rose is in school, so we all have to figure out like school schedules, work schedules. My brother-in-law and I are the only ones working. My parents are retired, and my sister is a stay-at-home mom. Not to say that stay-at-home moms don't work so hard because let me tell you I did it for two years and yikes it is some of the hardest work ever now another kind of weird disappointing thing about this particular box set is it does not come with a blush option so and I'm a little finicky about my blush anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and use my regular blush which is also a Kat Von D product I use rosebud and I know I should be highlighting and doing fancier things, but I do not have time. And honestly, it doesn't look great on me anyway, the whole highlighting thing. That is a lot. I will say this, the camera's helpful for filtering. Yikes, that's a lot of blush. Let's uh, blend that down a little bit. Just a smidge, make that look a little less insane. And for the finishing touch for my lip, they do have a couple of lip color options. Actually, they have a lot of lip color options. So they have lip glaze. They have a lip, uh, what looks like a more traditional lipstick, but this one is glittery. That is definitely a nighttime shade. And it looks like this is a very severe red as well. Red I tend to use at night or if I'm performing on stage because your lips are much more important when you're under stage lights and you're far away. They also have this lighter, more nude shade. This is what I'm gonna try. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on because I tend to wear lip stains for longer lasting. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so this is more like a lip shimmer. It's definitely, it's, it's a subtle look. There we have it. That is the number seven beauty products, Wizard of Oz palette. 
this is the box set. The display is super nice. I bought a second one so I could actually try the makeup that's inside it. The quality of the makeup is nice. It goes on well, it goes on smooth, and it doesn't have a ton of fallout with eyeshadow. I'm gonna probably end up using my own lip color for filming today because this really doesn't do anything. It's just a shimmer. It is pretty, like if you're looking for just like a lip gloss, it's very pretty, but it's also, it's not a stain, it comes off, so. When I'm filming, I like to have something that's not gonna come off. But yeah, I would say overall the quality of the makeup is really nice, and I really wish the highlighting palette I had ordered had come in one piece so I could show it to you. But yeah, so thank you for joining me. This was weird for me to do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be back soon. Mwah. Bye! Ladies don't wait. Ladies don't wait. One side of the side, you're out of my tips. You've excused yourself from my